what is an infinite loop? One of my favorite shows, The Big Bang Theory, where Sheldon finds a simple flowchart on how to make friends. He is so excited that he needs to show Leonard, Howard, and Raj how this works. So he picks up the phone and calls Kripke. As he's following through the flowchart, he gets to the end where he must ask the question, tell me an interest of yours. And Kripke's response is nothing which Sheldon would like to do. So Sheldon follows the flowchart again, which leads him to ask the same question again. Tell me an interest of yours. And again, Kripke's response is nothing that Sheldon would like to do. This action of Sheldon asking, Kripke responding, Sheldon asking, Kripke responding, happening over and over and over again, is called an infinite loop in scientific terminology. This example mimics one of mankind's biggest challenges, the concept of repetitive action without the desired result. No matter how many times Sheldon asked, tell me an interest of yours, he never got the desired result. My name is Kavya Patel. I have an undergraduate degree in applied mathematics, and I work with data, technology, and process optimization on a daily basis. I have lived in three different countries and been introduced to a multitude of philosophies and theories. However, through all that travel, one man's philosophy has stuck with me. What I wanna talk about today are some of the principles and philosophies from the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi that have influenced me, along with their relevance in today's world. Let's talk about step one transforming yourself, one of the first steps that Gandhi took. Gandhi understood that he could not help India gain her freedom without knowing who she truly, truly is. So he set off on a long journey to travel all across India and really understand who she is. One of the key takeaways from his travel is a quote on the screen. Now, a simpler way to put the quote would be, you must be the change that you wanna see in the world. However, there are some advantages and disadvantages to transforming yourself in the age of technology. Let's talk about some of the challenges. The first challenge you will face is a loss of personal connection. It is hard to connect with people just through a digital platform and not face-to-face. -face. The second challenge is inability to understand someone's true emotions. As humans, most of our communication is not done verbally. It is done through body language and tone and facial expressions. So it is hard to understand and analyze these things if we're just communicating over a digital platform. And last but not least is peer pressure. Transforming yourself is about self-awareness. And it is hard to do that when you are in a world that is constantly encouraging all of your decisions to be based on what is going to be most popular or what is going to get the most likes. However, there are some amazing advantages to technology as well. One of those advantages is no limitation of geographical borders. Regardless of what borders government entities have put, you are not limited by them. You can connect to anyone across the globe. And that means your reach is unbelievable. Last, you have unlimited resources. You can find the right person and get in touch with them. What this helps you do is create a tight-knit community with the same goal that you may have in helping transform yourself. For every effect, there is a root cause. And that brings us to step two, identifying the fundamental problem. One of the fundamental problems that Gandhi identified during India's fight for independence was the lack of unity amongst the different presidencies. Through the power of ahimsa and nonviolence, India was able to put forth a unified front to fight the British. Now, let's bring it to current day and age. Finding the fundamental problem 
is key in government, economics, politics, nonprofit, workplace, and even in individual households. Let's take a look at a very simple example that often happens in most households and something that most parents dread. In the diagram at the top, you will see the problem. I missed the bus. Now, I must find out the fundamental problem that is causing this through a root cause analysis. So I ask myself, what led me to missing the bus? I answer, well, I have two options. One, I had a late breakfast, or two, I simply woke up late. Let's simply look at the eating late breakfast category. Why did I eat breakfast late? Well, I burned the food. What led you to burning the food? Well, there are two options. One, the base pan is too thin, or two, I simply wasn't paying attention. Now, once a mathematician has identified the fundamental problem, she will ask for access to the processes that are contributing to that problem. So, in the case of our example, I would simply ask one of my parents to say, let's go and find the perfect base pan so that I don't burn my breakfast again. In your case, asking for access to processes may look like more representation amongst your administration or a simple stand-up meeting once a week at your workplace. Regardless of what the process looks like, you must have access to it. Having lived in three different countries, I understand that we live in a diverse world. And if you want to be a change agent, you must find a topic that is easy for everyone to participate in. That is step three. A great example is the salt march that Gandhi did. He strategically walked from city to city, all the way to the sea, to get his own salt. Now, mind you, at this time, it was illegal for an Indian person to get salt from the sea. At this time, only British-owned companies were allowed to mine for salt. This was an act that anyone could participate in and it was a topic that actually affected every single person in that country. Now, let's bring it to today's day and age. It happens all the time in our workplaces. Managers must pick topics that she feels like her employees are going to get on board with. Now, you must pick a topic that everyone can participate in, regardless of race, religion, caste, creed, education, or socioeconomic status. That is how you drive change.